first conditional. We use first conditional when we talk about future events that are possible to happen. There are two clauses when we make first conditional sentences. We have the if clause and the result clause which is also the main clause. If clause is in the present simple tense while the result clause is in the future simple tense. For the if clause we follow the pattern if plus the verb in present simple form. For the result clause we follow the pattern will plus the verb in base form. Example, if I don't study, I will fail the test. This is an event which is very possible. Our if clause is, if I don't study, which is in the present simple tense. The result clause is, I will fail the test which is of course in the future simple tense. Will plus the verb in base form fail. If the if clause comes first in the sentence, we put a comma after it. If it is at the end of the sentence, a comma is not needed. Take a look at the following example. If I don't study, I will fail the test. In this example, the if clause comes first, if I don't study. That's why a comma is put after it. I will fail the test if I don't study. This time, the if clause if I don't study comes at the end of the sentence. Therefore, a comma is not needed. Another example, if I attend the party, my wife will get angry. The if clause is, if I attend the party. The result clause or the main clause is, my wife will get angry. Some more examples. For our if clause, we have, if she's free this weekend, she will go with us. If Brian pays me today, I will buy something for Amy's birthday. If he tops the test, his father will buy him a new skateboard. If I have enough time, I will write a letter for my cousin. If she joins the contest, she will have 75% chance of winning. For our exercise, correct the given sentences and make first conditional sentences. For our if clause, we have, it is raining. For our main clause, we have, he will not have attended soccer practice. The answer is, if it rains, he will not attend soccer practice. The if clause, it is raining, is in the present progressive tense. We need to change it into present simple if it rains. The main clause he will not have attended soccer practice is in the future perfect. We need to change it into future simple. He will not attend soccer practice. The second one, I saw him. For the main clause, I tell him to call you. The answer is, if I see him, I will tell him to call you. I saw him is in the simple past. We need to change it into the present simple. If I see him. The main clause, I tell him to call you, is also in the simple present. We need to change it into the future simple. I will tell him to call you. The third one. She have come late. For the main clause, I cancel the meeting. The answer is, if she comes late, I will cancel the meeting. The if clause, she have come late, is in the present perfect. We need to change it into the present simple. 
if she comes late. The main clause, I cancel the meeting, is in the present simple. We need to change it into the future simple. I will cancel the meeting. The fourth one, if I'll be joining your club, will you teach me how to swim? The correct answer is, if I join your club, will you teach me how to swim? If clause should be at the present simple, that's why it should be, if I join your club. The main clause, will you teach me how to swim, is already correct. It is in the future simple, so there is no need to change it. The last one, if Linda will cry, it is your fault. The answer is, if Linda cries, it will be your fault. If Linda will cry is in the future simple. Change it into the present simple. If Linda cries, it is your fault is in the present simple. Change it into the future simple. It will be your fault. Did you get him right?